Hi everyone, Brad Muller joined by the Gamecocks to get some tips on how to play the Gamecock way. During every offensive set, you're probably going to see some kind of screen to try to free up a shooter. Now today we're going to learn how to come off those screens defensively. Joined by Elisa Welch, Tiffany Mitchell, and Tina Roy and India Farmer are going to help out as well. And Lisa, I know there's more than one way to defend a screen. Um, yeah, there's multiple ways that you can defend a screen, but some of the most common ones are hedging, trapping, and switching. So those are going to be the three ways we go over today. All right, guys, show us how it's done. So the first thing and the most important thing when a ball screen is being set is communication. You have to communicate to your guard that the screen is coming. So when the post is coming up to set it, you want to yell out, screen, 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 so that it then allows them to change their footwork. Initially, my first reaction is to send her to the corner, so my feet are facing this way, sending her to the corner, giving her this lane. But then when the post player calls that the screen is coming, I change my footwork in order to get ready to come off of the screen. Depending on if it's a shooter or not, I'll go over. If it's not a shooter, I'll go under the screen. So the first way we're going to do is we're going to do the hedge, and we're going to say that Tina is a shooter. So when we're hedging, you want to make sure as a post player, you step out to make their first dribble go back. You never want their first dribble to go forward because when it goes forward, that creates a disadvantage for the head. So I'm going to step out. I'm going to make her first dribble go back and allow Tiffany to have enough time to get over the screen. But I still want to keep contact with my player so that when she does turn the corner and my player rolls, that allows me to stay in the play so that it doesn't create a mismatch behind with my other post player. Then I have to communicate to my post player that I am back and she can get back to her man. Second way we're going to do is we're going to do the trap. Same thing with the trap, communicate, call out the screen, call out the screen. Again, I change my footwork to go off the screen. So when the screen is being set, you also still, you want to hedge out, you want to create that dribble going backwards. But on a trap, this is when you can release your man. So when her dribble goes, you come out, come out, allow Tiffany to get back into play. And the biggest thing is closing up this space so that they can't see over the trap because you already do have a disadvantage. Sometimes you do trap and deny, sometimes you do trap and zone up. So you want to create the, the disadvantage for the offense instead of having disadvantage for the defense. And then last thing we're going to do is the switch. Same principles go into it. You call out the screen, call out the screen. My footwork. When the switch is coming, you're not hedging out this time. Instead, you're playing a little bit more flat. So when the switch comes, she comes off the ball screen. Call switch calling the switch, and at this time, your guard has a post player. So you want to get up and you want to cut down their vision so that they can't see the disadvantage. But if it is a smaller guard, you can back up a little bit to give yourself a little bit of space so that the guard doesn't blow by you. How much is all this communication coming from the bench and the players on the floor? Um, you know, every time a, a screen happens during the game, you have communication coming from people on the floor, from Coach Staley, from the bench. Kind of just as a reminder, you always want to communicate in screens. And also, as a post player, you always want to try to tell your guard how we're playing screens, just so that they know what's coming. Because a lot of times, we don't play everybody the same way off of all screens, so you got to have that communication. Is there one rule of thumb in terms of the biggest do or the biggest don't when it comes to defending a screen? Um, the biggest do is definitely communication. You have to, because if not, it creates disadvantages. You're not allowing your guard to change your footwork. And then, you know, you're giving up a whole lane uh, to the guard, and you don't have that, that, uh, that advantage with the post player being there to play that screen. So you have to communicate. And if you don't communicate, like I said, it causes that disadvantage behind you. And therefore, you're playing kind of a four-on-five type game. All right. Great job, guys. Thanks for your help. Thank you. For Lisa, Tiffany, India, and Tina, I'm Brad Muller.